Swaz the lie you freckle face down foul for looking ass orphans. How the hell are ya? So do you remember not long ago I presented a list of the top 5 DPS shotguns in Warframe? You don't? Well that's okay. I do not watch this trash channel either but anyway. In that video I excluded beam weapons because I believe that beam weapons deserve their own entire list. And here we are. But allow me to make this crystal clear again beforehand since last time, some of you played the Mordon card and got mad. First, this is a list of DPS weapons. DPS stands for damage per second. It does not stand for your favorite beam weapon. It does not stand for which beam weapon has the best ribs. No, this is simply a list of the top 5 damage per second beam weapons in the game based on factual data. Your emotional attachment to the Kuba Nukor is irrelevant and can go fly a kite. Secondly, shut up. Okay so let's get this roast cooking. Warframe features hundreds of weapons and all of them are good enough to tackle everything in the game, and some will do so noticeably more efficient than others. When it comes to raw damage potential and excluding melee, beam weapons are probably the most destructive of any weapons in Warframe. This is due to a weird mechanics around beams and b sexy innate damage types that allow for more freedom when modifying. Keep in mind, literally any beam weapon will be a savage if you build them somewhat correctly, so it does not at all matter which one you use. It is totally okay for you to simply roll with the one you find sexually the most intriguing. Okay then, enough of that. Let's start with number 5 of the highest DPS beamers in Warframe. The Quanta Vandal. Now this is a weapon most of you either never heard of or do not even remember. Originally it was obtained during the event Operation False Prophet. Nowadays you can pick it up from Baro Kitir if you are lucky enough, or from fellow Tano who happened to have a copy. This beamer has an 8 electrical damage and an alt fire mode that will fire a bunch of cephalon semen at enemies and detonate on impact or when fired upon. The beam and the cubes have different damage types which means you can spread status like no one's business if you'd really want to. Overall this beam gun is pretty damn good. It is easy to use and modify for new players and veterans alike, has pinpoint accuracy and makes for a versatile usage, naturally, since it is on this list. It also has no trouble melting steel path goobers. Next up. Number 4 on this top 5 list is the Synapse. The Synapse is a true OG within Warframe. It's been around for so long that it is rumored to be older than the Queen, and she is older than Galactus. So yeah, the Synapse deals an 8 corrosive damage and has very high critical chance, which allows you to make one of the most potent Grenier killers out there. You can get this thing from your Hobo Clan's bio lab. The only downside to this thing is that it has a pretty lame sound profile. Other than that, it is a fantastic weapon and will outperform almost every other gun out there. Moving on to number 3. The Phage, very similar to the Synapse. This thing is also found in the most disgusting lab in your dojo, however, this one is technically a shotgun. Why? Fuck if I know but hey, I guess when a weapon shoots plasma hentai, it can get away with anything. Upon fire, the phage will shoot beams in all directions and look like an octopus on crystal meth. But when aiming, the beams all focus to a single point and therefore deal all of its damage to a central point. The innate damage type here is viral which is a shitty damage type but an amazing utility and it allows you to modify a number of ways and get something savage every time, one way or another. This gun is a must have if you happen to own many shotgun mobs and love weird beam weapons. Next up, number 2. The 
second best high DPS beam weapon of Warframe is, the Ignis Wraith. Now to some of you this may come as a surprise I suppose, just looking at the numbers, does not really reveal how much of a beast this beam is but when you consider the massive innate punch through and the fact that this particular beam weapon has a beam as thick as a porn star's penis, then it makes total sense that this thing easily annihilates entire groups of false. The Ignis Wraith is compared to many other interesting weapon designs, fairly boring. It is a flamethrower through and through, setting enemies ablaze with a fat beam of seemingly endless napalm is pretty entertaining though. High status effects tied with decent crits make the Ignis proc bleeds, virals and heat very often and thus ramping up the damage quickly. The added crowd control from lighting a fire under Grenier asses doesn't hurt either. Many plants give the Ignis away for free and asking platinum for it is a scam. So do not be stupid and buy this from anyone. If you hate humans like I do, then you can farm this alone too either by waiting on borrow key tier to bring it back or by hitting railjack derelict caches. To be honest, I would prefer death over farming railjack missions but you do whatever you want. And now, for the top dog beam weapon. The highest DPS beam gun in the entire game, the true master of disaster, number one beam gun is, the Phantasma. The Phantasma is a funky shotgun that makes no sense at all but whatever, the Phantasma deals mainly radiation and impact damage. You have the option of several jittering beams or alt fire that fires, well, ligma balls. Technically speaking, this thing should not be as insane as it is but here we are. The Phantasma easily outclasses all other beam weapons and is potentially the number one choice for steel path destruction. So there you have it, as promised, a top 5 beam weapon list. If you need any other lists or videos, feel free to let me know in the comment section and I will pretend to care. Lol. But in all seriousness, all beamers are very good. I will wholeheartedly encourage you to select the one you find most interesting rather than the strongest one. With that said, enjoy your lukewarm Dr. Peppers and Doritos, like and subscribe to this shitty channel right now. And fuck off.